National Flood Protection Plan, uh, which was done with the help of consultants from Netherlands. And this report uh, studied Pakistan's water resources, waterways, all the potential sources where flooding could take place, and it recommended infrastructure improvement, new infrastructure development in order to mitigate against possible future flooding. This report was finally approved by Council of Common Interest, I think in 2017, and after which it was decided that over the next 10 years, uh, we would implement this report in two phases. And the total cost of the National Flood Protection Program was about 340 million, I guess, uh, 340 billion rupees. And of which it was decided that 50% will be contributed by the federal government and about 50% by the provinces which meant that federal government had to invest 17 billion rupees annually and 17 billion rupees every year by the provinces. Unfortunately, after the government changed, during 2018 and 2022, like all the development plans, this plan was also put in cold storage. And uh, no implementation was done on this plan. Uh, again, when we, have, when we faced unprecedented flooding last year, a new dimension was added to our flooding, which was rain-induced flooding. Previously, we were focused mostly on riverine flooding or flooding coming through rivers in the country in shape of heavy rains in the northern areas. But this time, flooding occurred with unprecedented rainfall in those areas, which traditionally have been recipients of either below average or almost very average rainfall in the country. And that added a new dimension to flooding in Pakistan. So therefore, through our Flood Commission, we again approached and requested international community, and we are particularly thankful to government of Netherlands that they have helped us to revise or update the previous study that has been done. And we are hoping that in light of this, we will have now again a national flood protection program that we will implement to safeguard us from future floods. Now, maybe we are not as lucky as Netherlands to say that we can aim for zero floods because we are the seventh most vulnerable country to climate change. So we will see more of the floods, more of the climate-related disasters in the country. They could either be flooding, or it can be droughts, or it can be high heat waves. That really poses serious challenges uh, to the well-being of our people or to our even national security because when you have food security situation or you have damage to your critical infrastructure, that has very serious consequences for any country. So the challenge before us is not only to develop and make our infrastructure adaptable, resilient, our challenge is also to have smart agriculture or new agriculture revolution that will provide us with new seeds which are weather resistant, which can withstand the climate changes because the traditional seeds and the traditional cropping patterns will become irrelevant in future and which means that there can be serious implications for the food security of our people. So to fight this challenge or menace or to protect our people from the climate-related disasters in future, we would need to forge an international partnership so that we can benefit from the research, we can benefit from the technologies 
that are developed by other countries, particularly in the developed countries. And we also appreciate the support from countries like...